I'm so pumped. Oh, look at the pumpiness of me. Gotta work off all the calories I didn't eat today so I can eat more calories. Welcome back to another episode of Will, Will Vlog, Vlog for Food. We are back after a long radio silence. We're very sorry about that. We were both involved with the show and we're finally done with it. And we are coming back. Weekly episodes, we promise. Yes, Start absolutely. Starting back off with Dick's Sporting Goods. Wait. Different, different one. Dif this dicks in, not dicks sporting. Chili. Funny thing about this is that neither of us are really like huge fans of chili, but we do enjoy the occasional dabbling in the chili arts. So, right. so this place opened in 1919. As of this year, they have been open for 100 years. Please seat yourself. Dude, I'm excited. This cup, couple with a mohawk, that's pretty dope. Looks like water. I was tempted just to like drink some, but then I was like, let me smell it first. It's vinegar. Why do they have vinegar at the, just out on the table? So as it so happens, a regular who used to come to Dixon's all the time before and after his presidency was President Harry Truman. Yes, the 33rd president of the United States. He was once recorded saying that there's nothing more I'd rather have than a spread from Dixon's. So I want to see what the chili tastes like. A lot of the young people who come in here want the all-you-can-eat tacos, which is understandable. So if you like tacos, you can come here and get all-you-can-eat tacos. I mean, every day, all-you-can-eat tacos. Like, that sounds pretty awesome. Dixon, Vern Dixon, the guy who created this place. First generation Dixon, if you will. He was so confident in his specific type of chili that he banned, banned all use of ketchup on his chili. That included customers who would bring it in to put it on the chili. He would stop them. When Vern's nephew took over, they allowed ketchup, but for a small fine, they would call it. It was a, a five cent, a nickel. It was a nickel to add ketchup. Now it's 15 cents. I kind of like keeping that little tradition. It's quirky, it's, it's fun, it's, it's interesting. And it's incentive to try the chili the way it was intended to be eaten. So I'm excited. This is a 100 year old chili recipe that I'm gonna get to try today. Welcome. You enjoy. Will do. Gee, this, this chili is like super sculptable. Like it holds its shape. So, I got myself a chili cheese dog because I love me a good dog and a good chili on top of that dog. This has got famous chili cheese dog. It looks like they filleted the dog so it's like split open and laid out like this. I guess maybe holds the chili better, it's flat. I don't know how to attack this. Okay. Yeah. As we previously stated at the beginning of this uh, whole episode, generally, we are not Chili's number one fans in the world. No, definitely not. But what I will say is, this is my favorite chili that I have eaten. My mom had this Southwest, Southern whatever chili, and that was, that was pretty good. It won some kind of chili contest. This is better. And I'm not sorry that it's better, because it's better. Wow, this is so juicy. Okay, this is just the famous chili. I just got the chili. I wanted to see what it was like. I've got all these condiments. I got my cheese. So I'm gonna put a lot of that on there. Some sour cream. Jalapeno relish. So I'm gonna like throw all of that on there. I'm gonna throw some of this chili seasoning on here. I'm gonna take some salt. I'm loading this thing down, man. I'm loading it up. some of the saltines on there, right? So I sit here, right? And I look over this little menu divider here and I see mustard and something that looks like ketchup, but it's not. Because remember, ketchup is banned. So they've got this. This is spicy vinegar. I don't know what this tastes like, but I'm gonna just try it. Oh. I need to mix this up now, straight out of the center. Here we go. Mm. Oh man, 
Oh, that is so good. You know when you when you take a bite of food, there's that feeling, that voice inside of you that just goes, that hits the spot. It hits the spot, man. I could eat this any day of the year. I love this, this is so good. This was like the perfect combination of whatever I just threw in here. I threw almost like whatever condiment she gave me and then everything on the table. I sort of just like all threw it in, mixed it up real good and it created this amazing concoction that is Dixon's famous chili. This is what they're known for. It is so good, bomb.com. I'm not that big a fan of chili, but this is amazing. I've been a judge for some chili taste testing competitions in the past, so I know my chili, and this is good chili. I should have gotten a large. I want so much more of this. They started out doing all of their sales from a street cart, just roaming up and down the street, selling chili to whoever walked by. This is, as of, well, forever, I guess, at this point, is the oldest family-owned restaurant in KC. That's, that's pretty incredible. So that was Dixon's, Dixon's chili. chili. Oh. Well, actually, Dixon's famous chili as it is originally titled. If you like chili, this is a place to be. If you don't really like chili, you still should probably try this chili. It's actually worth it. And we don't live in Independence, Missouri, and I'm not the biggest fan of chili, but this place was so good that I wish it existed where I lived. Yeah. Like, I wish there was one close to our house. What you're seeing right now is footage of One More Scoop, an ice cream place that just opened up in the Belton area. Lots of wonderful flavors and great service. Stay tuned for next week's episode. So that does it for this episode. Be sure to check out Dixon's Famous Chili. We are on Facebook and Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. We have our own website, www.willvlog4food.com. Be sure to check us out there. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can get up to date updates. Information. <laughs> Most importantly, we are on Patreon. Now yes. the important thing about Patreon is, for those of you who are current patrons, we are changing Everything and by everything I mean most things. We're still the same name and creators, but Every, everything's gonna be better Very important that you know the changes that are happening because they do apply to current patrons If you are not a patron go to our patreon check us out. We have some cool stuff on there some exclusive Video content for those of you who support us and what we do which is eat food have fun and bring people with us But until next time chill out and, and feast, feast.